All right, how are you doing? Hope you're well, hope you're keeping safe. On the menu today, we're gonna to make this beautiful Indian vegetable soup. It is delicious. It's gonna warm you up. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. Okay, so let's look at the basics of what you're gonna need, and then I'm gonna show you the vegetables I'm using. You can use any vegetables, but yeah, let's check this out first. So, onion, red lentils or dal, tomato, I'll try and use a nice juicy tomato, garlic ginger paste, cumin seeds, and then some powders in here. I've got equal parts here of, well, like one teaspoon each of turmeric, coriander, chili, cumin and garam masala powder. I've got some curry leaves here, which are not super essential to be honest. If you don't have them, don't worry. And then a couple of apples. Apples in this soup are kind of fairly key. Let's go and take a look at the other ingredients. So what I'm gonna be using, and like I say, you can use anything you want, are the following. I've got some French beans or green beans there, a little bit of potato, mushrooms, celery, some mange too, zucchini or courgette and bell peppers. Anything goes here, this is just my selection. The amounts of these is up to you completely. And like I say, yeah, play around with them, but yeah, cut them quite small. Let's get to the cooker. So we've got a pot, you're gonna need a lid at some point. And I've got some oil in there that I'm heating up. We're gonna drop in our cumin seeds and our fresh curry leaves. And like I say, not super essential, but a lovely flavor. If you can get them, it'd be great if you get the curry leaves. Now, you could be adding cinnamon, cardamom, some black mustard seeds, anything you like really. Some nice whole seeds in there. I'm just going with these two. We're now gonna add our onion. And our red lentils. Medium heat, back in about four minutes. Okay, wonderful. Now I'm gonna add in that garlic ginger paste. I'm now gonna add in a little bit of salt. And then start adding, uh, adding your hardest vegetables. So in my case, it will be celery, the green beans, and the potato. Obviously very popular in this soup are carrots as well. Four more minutes, see you then. Okay, let's get in our other vegetables now. So, zucchini or courgette, bell peppers, the mange too or the sugar snaps. My mushrooms, and then my apple, which I've cut, you know, again, nice and small. Now I'm using a red apple, use a green apple, entirely up to you what you want to put in there. It just adds a nice bit of sweetness. Four more minutes, keep it moving now, and then we can move on to the next step. Okay, looking wonderful. We're now going to drop in that ripe tomato, and then we're going to get some powders in there. Let's take a look again. Now if you wanted, like I say, just use a curry powder. What I've got here is garam masala powder, cumin, coriander, turmeric, and chili powder. Let's give that a little mix in there. Now, I'm not adding any fresh chili to this, but if you want, go for it. And now would be a good time. That's looking fantastic. Just gonna add a little bit of water to this now. We're going to be adding more later, and I'm using water. You could be using a vegetable stock if you wanted, or a different type of stock. Okay, just going to let that go for about three minutes, then I'm back. Right, that's looking absolutely wonderful. Now we're going to add more liquid. Like I said, I'm using water. If you want, use stock. I'm going to put enough in to just cover it. Down goes the heat, not a simmer, just above a simmer. On goes the lid. I'll be back in about six or seven minutes. No need to touch it. Okay, off goes the heat there. Let me get this lid off and get some steam out of your way. 
And you've got yourself a really lovely soup there. That apple in there is beautiful. Right, a few options here. You can liquidise this now if you want and make it a kind of a smoother affair or you can keep it like it is. I'm going to keep it like it is. Also, if you want, like I'm just going to do now, you can add a little bit of coconut milk. That gives it a lovely smoothness as well. And then finally, hold tight. Some fresh cilantro or coriander on the top there, which we can mix in later. And some cashew nuts, just broken cashew nuts. That's it. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.